Some model projects are just, what's a good way to put this? Simpler, easier, maybe recommended for anyone to give a shot. And today we're talking about one of them. Winston is one of those newer CGI-only Thomas characters that essentially serves as Sir Topham Hatt's personal rail car, maybe rail inspection car, kind of all of the above. Railed road vehicle that is no longer a road vehicle. You get what I'm saying. And today I thought we'd talk about my 00 scale Winston, a project I started very recently. Like I said before, a very simple and not too complex project. So don't expect this to be too in depth. The process isn't well, really all that in depth itself. With any luck, it just may inspire you to try the same, or maybe show you how simple or easy some of this stuff really can be. But before we jump into how I made my Winston, what the hell is he? Believe it or not, Winston does have a real life basis, or inspiration. This falls on the Type 4B two-seat Wickham trolley, and I say this because it helped with my detailing process, and it's always good to get your head around whatever character you're making. From what we can see, he's pretty much just this with some minor modifications. There aren't many models of this trolley specifically around though. So what's the next best thing? Perhaps using a toy. I've seen people in the past use the take along, maybe track master models, and all of these can work in their own way. I however was inspired by Brendan Reese 10 to try this process out with a capsule Winston, since he had done the same thing with his Winston project, and also was all I had at the time, so it, it, it was gonna happen. Capsule Winston is a very, very simple build, and what I found was his axles were pretty much the same with pretty sizable areas already made in the sides for the wheels he has. I'd at least have to gain access to these areas though, and for this I decided to dremel out his bottom, after removing his capsule wheels. If he was gonna run on 00 scale track though, I'd have to be picky about what new wheels fit in, since the previous axles are pretty big, but that doesn't mean there's a lot of playroom. I did end up getting pretty lucky with my first pick though. I tried to find the smallest HO scale wheels I could find, and landed on 26 inch front bogey truck wheels. Bought the pack, slipped them in, and it was a go. They fit pretty snugly where the capsule wheels used to be. I did have to sand down those old areas just a tad to accommodate turns though. But like I said, this process really wasn't much at all. Next came keeping those wheels in the chassis, and for that, I literally just used a bit of card. Cut it down, glued it in the front, back, and middle, painted it a matte black, and surprisingly, it holds the wheels very well. I expected this to be more a temporary thing, but I haven't had an issue yet, so eh, not gonna lie, it's kinda stuck. If it works, it works. And next came this dude's actual body, which also was very simple. Winston in the show has a very detailed interior, and the capsule, well, to accommodate the capsule Sir Topham hat is simply not. That doesn't mean we can't do a little more though, so I decided to hand paint that area a matte black. I've also realized a little bit before, Winston doesn't have a windshield or windshield wipers. Or I guess wiper, he only has one in the show, so that would have to be made and accommodated too. His windshield is just a piece of spare plastic cut down to fit the frame, nothing too special. Interestingly though, his windshield wiper was made of a hairpin, cut down, bent, and glued back together then primed and painted a matte black as well, and applied to the front. I tried to follow the design of Winston's actual windshield wipers, but being this small, I'm just happy to have managed what I did. So with that complete, those two areas were done as well. I felt like his lamps needed a pit of life too, so I painted the front of those a bright white. And just before I painted his wheels a matte black, decided kinda just not to. I know in the show Winston does have black wheels, and this may be something I change over time, but something about the silver wheels with the silver lamps and current look, I, I don't know, it just works to me. So for now at least, those are pretty much as is. I sealed it all with a coat of matte clear, and now only need to find him some new horns. Unfortunately with capsules, most detail is just a sticker, so at the very least I can make those better. For now though, this is Winston. And before anyone asks, no, he is not, I don't know how you would manage to power a capsule, but uh, if I do figure something out, I'll let you know, I pro I'll, you'll be the first to know, I gotcha. At least to me, he doesn't have to be. He's here, and causing all the trouble he should be, and that matters a little more. 
I'll keep experimenting with new ways of doing such, and again, if I ever do crack something, I'll let you guys know. But for now, this is my 00 scale model of Winston. I'll probably weather him up just a little bit when he does get his horns, maybe go back and detail some more, or paint the wheels. But regardless, I'm pretty satisfied with his current standing, and double excited for Pacman Rebecca too, so she can push this guy around. And like I said before, hopefully this video highlighted the simplicity in projects like this. There's always the route of 3D printing, and I may try that myself one day with Winston, but to me, it's always a little more fun to give something a new purpose. And now, this little capsule guy has just that. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed figuring out the process. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.